with another episode of Retro Funhouse, the Funhouse podcast, where you can listen or watch. watch or both. It's up to you. We try not to go too long or too short, so let's get straight to it. We got some fun. Of course, if you're watching this video, as we're filming this video, the Nintendo Direct went out, and they were talking about all the releases and remakes and all that fun stuff. We're going to talk a little bit about that, as well as some other fun stuff. Also, too, time of recording, we did just get done. We did my... Well, we did just get done editing our other podcast one today. From two days ago. Yeah, from so two days. It's out. If you're if you're watching this, it's already out. So yeah. Anyway. So let's head right into the topic. Let's get straight to it. Funhouse podcast. Yep. So uh, first thing we're going to start off with with Nintendo Direct. I actually had to watch it halfway through because it was live, but I caught it a little late. But still, I caught it. I watched it. One of the cool things is, is as we're watching it on one of our screens here, the Mario Luigi Brothership. I think it's Brothership. I thought brotherhood. It was brotherhood. Brotherhood. I think it's Brotherhood. Yeah. We'll Any, see. Anyways, it's a really cool game. It's the first Mario Luigi game that's came out, come out in about seven years. As I think the last one they did was like for the DS. I think it was Paper Mario, maybe. No, no, oh. that, no. It was Mario Luigi games. They kind of have them themed out. It's Mario, Luigi, blah blah blah. Like uh, I've got a couple of them for the for the DS, but uh, it's gonna be the. Um, it's very cartoonish, as you, as we can see. If you haven't seen it, you can of course look it up and check it out. It's on YouTube. They have the trailer <laughs> for it, but it's got a really anime kind of look. Um, it kind of reminds me in a way of um, the Mario Rabbids. Game, I'm thinking more of like an RPG. Yeah, and because as we're as we are watching, it does look more like a. Mar- it looks like we're getting another Mario and Luigi. It yeah. looks like an RPG for it, so it could be interesting, but, you know, we don't know. Has it confirmed day when it's coming out, or is it just that? Um, it's supposed to come out November 8th, so right now you're just seeing trailers, but it looks really fun because in this game, uh, from what I'm understanding, is uh, Mario and Luigi have to work together, so if it's a two-player game, you got to work together to get things done. Mm-hmm. And, of course, Bowser is the villain in it, but... There's always going to be some other things that you know come in that pop up in it, or some other new characters that they're trying to help out. But it looks really fun from the trailer they show. It looks really, really fun. I, I think I think I'll oh, brothership. brothership. I knew I wrote okay. brothership, but uh, that's coming out November seventh this year. So kind of a holiday movie, this could be uh, very cart- a cartoon uh, game. So I'm looking forward to. It. We like Mario. Mario's fun. Yeah. Um, what are some other things we got going on? So, for the wrestling world, for WWE, recently, um, if you watched Monday Night Raw on Monday, there is now the returning of Seth Rollins after WrestleMania 40 due to his injury with his knee. He is now back, and Damian Priest will mm-hmm. give him already his very first shot for the title. Also, too... I want a shot at the title. Also, too, after it seemed like a thousand plus translated stuff for the Wyatt family, which is now called the Wyatt Six... They are now officially debuted. No, I don't think they're called the Wyatt Six. I think they are. They just because they showed one of their shirts. I think they're called Six Wyatt Sick, or something like that. If you do know, I think a lot of people are speculating it was Wyatt Six, but it looks like maybe they changed it. This is Wyatt Sick, 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 something or maybe like they have a shirt they've already released for them, so it's interesting. But it is very interesting. So now we basically have a new form of the Wyatt family with Eric Roman, Nikki Cross. Dexter Loomis, uh, Joe uh, Gracie. I think he was from N- NXT. Two of them are from NXT. Yeah. Actually, two of them were from NXT. The other Eric one was... Rowan, recently, they brought him back. Of course, they had to. And then Uncle Howdy is obviously the brother of uh, Bray Wyatt. Also, too, uh, some other, other news for... Um, more of the Nintendo Direct stuff. I'm really excited. There were some really good games. But the, if you haven't heard about it, they've already been talking about the Nintendo... Uh, World Championships, which was really popular back in the days with Nintendo, which was, was a lot the of 80s, fun. Right? Back when in they the first 80s, did it? late eighties, early nineties, they were doing all that. Um, but it's fun because, again, we're watching the trailer for it again. Um, you can do more. challenges, you can do speed runs. Um, they have the Legend challenges, which is like really supposed to challenge you. But it, it looks like it's a lot of fun because it's it's giving you the opportunity to play some of the classic Mario stuff. I know a lot of people are probably. Not too thrilled with it. They probably see it as a money grab in a way. But it's cool. And I think if I was going to get it, 
Um, I would definitely get the deluxe version of it because you get the uh, you get a replica of the gold uh, Nintendo like card, the gold like, Nintendo card like they says. gave out for the champions. Uh, that's but cool. survival mode is you can play online with multiple people, where of course people are getting knocked out in survivor mode. This is really fun. It's going to be like a thirty dollar game. It's going to be available on July eighteenth, so it's coming. Very, it's so. coming very soon. Also, too for Retro Fun House, my birthday is in one. I think what a few. I think in a few weeks, or well, uh, a few more weeks, so maybe about maybe six or so weeks or so, my birthday is coming up, so I'll be 17. So most likely we'll probably be doing a lot more. But also, too, on other news, recently, if you are a PlayStation player like myself, they have announced, I think, five or six new games for PlayStation. They are now announcing Doom, which is basically going to be set in the time of the medieval era. So this will be... More were like it was more about civilization, where it was like more like round and go from there. Also, if you're a Call of Duty fan like myself, they just announced BO6. I'm very excited for that because I'm a big Call of Duty fan. They also just announced uh, a bunch more other games that with college football. If you are a football fan like us, for me and my father, we do love football a lot and we do love college. They mm-hmm. just announced recently College 25 coming out, or 24, my mistake, which is going to be very interesting because that will be coming out in a few a few weeks from now. But also, too, on other news for Nintendo. The Nintendo Direct, other games that were coming out. Um, some games, of course, people are excited for. Other games, you just you have to like them. The RPG of Fairy Tale 2, which is coming out for the holiday as well. Um and Fantasia, Fantasia, I don't know. I can't remember how to say that. But Fantasia. It's uh, basically something. made by the maker of Final Fantasy. So of course it's going to be another um, fun, adventurous game. Um, I'm watching a little bit of the, the trailers for it. They just give you a little sneak peeks. But I really like the graphics of the game. So I mean, it's not the kind of games I'm 100 percent into, but um, if they look good and the stories make sense and it grab grab grabs my attention then yeah I'll, you know I'll give it a shot so um but other um, Nintendo other Direct, for Nintendo. this is a really cool DLC that's coming out I think it's available now I or it's coming it's... but it's really cool it's really cool it's a Nintendo Sport or the the basically the Wii Sport it's, it's the, it was with the Wii Sport for the Wii back then it is going to be basketball to where you can play two on twos or three on threes which is very fun because if you played the Wii Sport for Nintendo they had that available, and it's very interesting yeah. to see it because now they're bringing it back as a free, as a free downloadable it's a DLC. DLC it's it's going it. to be like online four players, or um, you can play a three point shootout. You can play online with other people. You can do two on two basketball, but uh, just the fact that it's Wii Sports, I mean, I think that's cool, and it's a free download. So mm-hmm. the fact that they added basketball to it, it uh, I'm interested. I'm watching the trailer. I was really excited. And it is available, uh, oh, available summer 2024, so I really have a pinpointed date, so I'm guessing it's probably available now. So Either available now, maybe available next week, or next month. Yeah. But so. also, too, in other news, um, if you are a big fan of Mayo, which is, if I'm correct, a... Mayo I've never heard of. I don't really know what it is, but apparently they, they of course, if you watched Nintendo Direct, you've seen all the videos... And the little preview clips they gave you, but uh, Mayo is a 2025 release. So, I don't know anything about it. I've never heard about it. I've never heard of it. But mm-hmm. again, the graphics were cool. I, I really thought the graphics on it were really fun. Really fun graphics. And oh, also Disney fans. If you're a big Disney you're a fan. Disney fan. Disney is back with their Disney Illusion Island. This is a game I have been intrigued with playing. Um, I haven't played it, but. The, the game cartridge cover art looks fun. Um, if you've ever played any of the Mickey Mouse games on Nintendo or, or any of the other consoles, they're, they're, they're fun games. I mean, they have the epic Mickey on the Wii. That's a fun game. And this one, of course, the Illusion Island game. Um, it's coming it's, later it's, today. Yeah, it's more of a free update. So if you have the game, it's just more updates for it, of course, like, all, like a lot of them. Um, and if you are a Hello Kitty fan. Which, if you are, I'm prompt. Not. Uh, but Hello Kitty it. was it Hello Kitty Island, Island Adventures. Adventures is apparently coming out next year, which will be if, if you are a Hello Kitty. It fan, looks like it's something really built. It for looks kids. fun, but that seems like if you are a big fan of them, then most likely then I would, 
Yeah, it would be pretty fun. It's got some Indiana Jones type scenes in a way. It's got some beach fun. So I, I would guess if you have kids, small kids, or maybe if you're just a big kid, you enjoy this. But well, here's one. The trailer popped up really quick. The Looney Tunes Wacky Games. Watch this trailer. Well, we're watching it, but yeah. this is one definitely I want to get. This reminds me of like the Space Jam Looney Tune type game with basketball, but they play tennis and uh, Bas- it, it looks like a lot of they're playing soccer. Um, it, it looks fun. It's so cartoony. There's an anvil that'll drop randomly. I think this is a game that I'm definitely going to probably have to pick up when it comes out. Um, the Looney Tunes Wacky Games. It, it caught my attention really quick, so it's a game I'm definitely going to go after. And, uh, uh, also, too, if you are a Among Us fan, which I actually haven't touched the game for a bit, there is going to be an update today, which I think they're going to be adding a lot more roles into it. Which, because originally when the game first came out, it was mostly just crewmates and then imposters, which it was kind of getting a little boring at the time. So then, if you if you knew how to get the mods, and that's how you go from there. Mm-hmm. But on other news too, there uh, is far a what foreign is novel. I th- I'm going to take a random guess at that. I don't know this game. I'm guessing this is some <clears throat> type of an RPG. Farmingia? I could be wrong. If we're wrong, just you, you can, can tell us in the comment, but we'll still read it wrong. So um, that one, of course, I'm thinking that's just a game coming out soon. It looks like. Yeah, but, it yeah. looks more like looks an RPG yeah, game. Like RPG. I would, if if you are a big RPG fan, then it would be kind of fun to get. But also, too, in other news, Ooh, if you look were what's a being redone for the Switch. If you were a big fan of Donkey Kong Country for the Wii... Returns. It returns. It comes to Switch, I think. It's going to be in HD, so So that's going to be interesting. interesting. We have this for the Wii. This is a fun game. (laughs) Anything Donkey Kong is fun. Yeah. Donkey Kong is just a fun, silly, running around, doing flips, Diddy Kong. A lot of fun. I like it. I'm excited. What was the girl's name? Uh... I think it was. Girl Kong. I don't remember. remember. But just the trailer, I mean, of course it is Donkey Kong Country Returns. So it's the same game. They're just... They're just updating They're porting it. And some HDI, you know, kind of bring... Add more flavor, color to it. But it's still a fun game. I think think it'll work well on the Switch. It worked... I mean, if you can play it on the Wii... Then you can play it on the Switch. So I don't don't see the big big deal with that. So I I think that's going to be a big seller. I think a lot of people are going to jump on with that. Also, too, and really, actually, in my opinion, some of the, my favorite <clears throat> growing up was the Dragon Quest games, was 1 through 3. Yeah. They are now coming out for the Switch. They're re I think they're remastering. Re- it's like a re- so basically remaster just yeah. means that they're remastering, like, the game. Like, or remake. I guess they're just going to go back and... Just polish it, it, just so then it's... I've never released really- Dragon Quest. I know they're popular. But if you are a big Dragon Quest fan, it is a it's kind of like an RPG type game, but it's a lot more. It's know. an HT, HD two <clears throat> D remake. Hmm. It's a very fun game. I've so, personally liked them. Yeah. So it looks like Dragon Quest one and two will come out and three. And all of the trilogy the will trilogy. most likely come out uh, as we we're noticing. It will most likely be coming out. It kind of uh, has that Super NES look feel, but updated. Yeah. So it's really cool. I like the way that looks. It's really fun. So this game will most likely probably be coming out in 2025. Also, too, if you are a big oh, this Funko, is another one. This is another one. If I like. you are a big Funko I don't, Pop we have collector, a, I have a few. I collect a I don't lot. Have many. I do. I do I have, have like a bunch four. of Metallica. I do got some other famous bands, but also too, if you are a big Funko Pop fan, then they will be releasing releasing a game that is going to be obviously with all the Funko Pops or like. I think they said sixty Funko characters, from I'd, Marty McFly to probably um, Skeletor to, to He Man. I mean, you could see the what is it? Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, too, so all if, kinds of the uh, Five Nights at Freddy and. Probably I mean, guitarist too. They said it's going to be so random with just pop, <laughs> Funko Pop figures, but so if you are a big fan, then yeah, I think we'll and be what's down cool, you know, it's it's characters for the movies, television, and Each with uh, their own, like, yeah. you know, movies and, and stuff like apparently that. though, and it comes out September thirteenth, but of this year, too. the fact that they're all going to have their own moves too, so they won't all do the same thing. So that's that's cool. That'll be fun. So that's another one I think I might pick up. Yeah, and um, another one coming out, which is a um, really? which is an HD. Remaster, uh, remaster. So it it's been out before, which of course I think it was out for the game. It was out for no the Nintendo. W- it is it is Luigi's Mansion Two. If you yeah, do know, it was on the 3DS, I believe. 
If I'm wrong, if we were wrong, let us know. I think it was a 3DS. But if you but were, it's a remaster. but if you were a big Luigi fan, and I've recently too. played the Luigi Mansion, the one that the most Third recent one, one on, yeah, on, Wait, on you, Nintendo Switch, yeah, yeah, because this one is a remake, a remaster. So it'd be a lot of fun, you know, Luigi's Mansion. You can't go wrong; it's fun. Also, Hopefully, it'd be better than than the the DS version. I like, I not like not the, many people liked it, I think. I actually like the DS version. So, but still, be fun. I mean, everyone has their own opinions, but also, too, in other news, as we're oh, watching, the, they're releasing a new game called The, the Deadpan Deadpan Man, Man Deadpan which is, Man? it looks like a party game where you that play really with weird. friends. Uh, we don't really know much about this. We didn't this is really like, he's this. walking through the woods and random things are popping up. That's also, oh. too, and if I think this came out for this is the Metal Slug Attack Reload, which is a remake, SNK which is corruption, uh, corporation. This is really fun. Which is, I think, basically every single Metal uh, Metal Slug game. I think it's a four player game. Which, if it is, I believe I would actually like to play it. It's gonna be cool. I think that fun. comes out today. I think that's a download game, though. That's a you can play online against other that. people, so that'd be fun. It says you can battle rivals around the world. Metal Slug Attack Reload oh, later. Yeah, so as of this video, it's out. Yeah. So I guess it's a DLC or something, but that's pretty interesting. I, I'm excited. There's some other titles coming out that um, um, as we can tell from the from this little thing, this looks more like a. This is another RPG game. Oh, Darkest Dungeons Two. I've never heard of I've it. Never so. heard of Darkest Dungeon One. So I don't know. But what if it just jumped to two? It has happened before. There's a bunch of games that went from. Then you got so. the online expansion for um, if you have a subscription with Nintendo, like we do, with you can play classic Game Boy games and NES games. That's what this one is. Is Legend of Zelda: uh, Link to the Past: Four Swords is being released. That's the Game Boy Advance version, which is going to be released for the Switch. Also, too, Metroid. Uh, zero mission for the Game Boy Advance 2. So if you which, have that, then download it as a, a subscriber to a Nintendo. Yeah. These are going to be fun to play. That would be very interesting. And they also got some 64 that are coming out, which is cool. And Apparently, the N64 that are be popping game, up. there will be some oh. other mature, so if you are old, if you're a little more older, they're, they're putting... Uh, the Turok. Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Most likely you'll see a lot that more. That was a fun game when it originally came out. That was really... That was like Resident Evil, but with a twist because it's dinosaurs. It was with dinosaurs. That's what was really interesting at the time because it was a twist. Also, too, Perfect Dark, which is, if I'm correct, it's like a version of 007 where you yeah. can play with other people, but it's more futuristic. And it, was, that is, it was really popular. It is going to be on the Nintendo's... On, Nintendo subscription, which is basically the expansion so pack, you have to and have also this, yeah. the N64. so you don't just have to have a subscription; you also have to have the expansion pack. Uh, on other news, Phantom too, Brave the Lost Hero. I don't, I don't, I don't. Most of these games are more RPG, which I think that's what Nintendo's kind of known for too. But it's also for other companies. But you know, we don't know that much about them, so mm -hmm. you know, we'll go. For I mean, that. you have to be a fan of them to really like them. Um, not saying they're bad games, just. I have to play it at least once to like it. So, but here's a big one that's coming out that I, I've been seeing since they did the direct this morning that a lot of people on a lot of group sites are really interested in. I'm interested in. It the, is fun. It is the Marvel and Capcom collab, which uh, is yeah. them doing the arcade ports from Marvel vs. Capcom. The Punisher game is going to be on there. That's a great arcade cabinet. Every the X Men games will be on there. Marvel superheroes vs. Street Fighter will be on there too. Yep. So this is going to be very interesting because if you were a big fan of... Especially of fighting games. Fighting games for Marvel vs. Capcom. Capcom. I think, yeah, Capcom, my mistake. It's going to be fun. It's going to be very interesting because at the time they did have Mega Man and all of them on the cast, which was very interesting. And they also had The Punisher, which is mm -hmm. very fun. And what's cool, too, is you'll be able to look at uh, art on games. here on the game. You can see like a museum of the artwork. You can even listen to the music of the games. It will be available in 2024. We do not know when. It doesn't say when. It just says 2024. So stay on the lookout for that, too. And here's the big one. This is one I was really excited for. It's another. I know this is one it's we'll another, buy. It's really another. Most likely enjoy. just, you know, it's another. If you know. And if you did watch it. It is Super Mario, Super Mario Party Jamboree. Which is going to be very interesting. Because we actually found out that the online mode can hold up to 20 players. So that basically means you or whoever. Other you 19. and 19 other people around the world. 
and it's basically going to be in a lot more. Looks really fun. You have the rainbow gallery. Um, a lot run more. around a mall. It's basically, I think what they're doing with this now is they're adding a lot more board right. games. We got Roll'em Raceway. It's a lot of fun. Which will be interesting because now it's a lot more options. A lot more ga gaming options with Mario. So that's really cool. That's going to be pretty fun though. And there's going to be more uh, stuff for... More mini games and... More of the games for that too. Also, mm -hmm. this will be that will be released on October seventeenth. And another interesting Zelda game coming out. It's the uh, Zelda Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and the trailer's really good. And I, it's it's really fun because I I think this version of Zelda is really really fun. I think kids can easily play this. But the fact that Zelda is actually or Link is caught in some kind of thing that sucks him in and Zelda is the one that's the main character yeah Zelda has to figure this out so I think that's going to be interesting an uh, interesting game I think a lot of people will play um I'm looking forward to it Zelda games are fun they haven't done a lot of where you play as Zelda but you know it'd be the first time but it would be interesting too so yeah. also to another news if you're a big fan of Just Dance they are doing a lot more they're always doing a Just Dance it's every single year they're never going to stop doing it so there will be a Just Dance for 2024 oh, and yeah. I think 2025 also too if you're a big Lego uh, fan they're doing a Lego Horizon adventure game which is based off the game which is PS4? I think it's I think it's a lot more PS4 and PS5 yeah. but I think it's a lot more with other games too okay. and Stray. and on other news too for Nintendo they are releasing a game that you play as a cat that is called Stray. I think that came out on the PS5? It, or the it PS4? came out on the PS4, PS5, and I think... I, 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 I've heard of the game, but I never played it, and I watched the trailer. I was like, this is a game I would buy. It looks fun. I would love to be cat. this cat, because it's a totally different... And it's a cat. He's just a cat. He's There's not, no, like... He's not puss in boots or anything. He's, he's not, like, cat. anything else. It's just a cat, which is cool. I think that's a good little... It's a unique game for what it is. This is another one I was, telling, <laughs> I was telling my wife about that I definitely want to buy because I think she would play it. It's the um, <laughs> it's the, the Tales of the Shire, the Lord, the Lord of, the Rings. of the Rings game, but, which um, is interesting because they've only made you're a, a hobbit. They've made only a handful of yeah. Well, Lord what's cool is you're a hobbit, and you create your own hobbit. You live in the Shire. You gotta live like a hobbit. So you gotta you gotta host dinner party. It, it just looks fun. It's totally different. And it's a Christmas release. That's going to be pretty that, funny. That could be fun because it's really different. Also, too, if you are a big Ace Attorney fan, I which do. is... I am currently playing the one of the Ace Attorney games on Switch right now. It's a game where it's... You're an attorney. I, yeah, you're an attorney. You just basically help your clients to win their games. Yeah, and I think that's a yeah, it's Ace Attorney Investigations Collection. Which I guess it's going to be more like every single game they it's make It's going to be for. probably ones or certain ones that not possibly, but... Also, a lot of fun. also, too, there's another game coming out called The Last Hundred Line Last oh, the Defense. Hundred, the Hundred Line Last Defense, yeah. It looks more like another, another RPG. RPG. Yeah. I wouldn't be yeah, surprised. I think it is. I guess I Nintendo that really too does is, like yeah. RPG games, which it's not. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I like a bunch of people play yeah. RPGs. And there's other games that come out. Rom Romancing Saga 2. Romancing, yeah, Saga 2. That's one I've never the heard. That's seven. one that's coming out. But and the main the, one that they say for the last, and it, I think a lot of people were expecting it, but they were kind of thinking, "Oh, it's not going to happen." Which is, mm, which is Metro Prime Four, uh, Beyond. So I think it's been seven years, maybe, since they were mm -hmm. since they released Metro. And this is just a look. What they this, released is just a first look. It's not. It's not ready. It's not a big not trailer. Ready. It's just a little peek, but which makes fun. it a lot more interesting. Which that's what I think is pretty cool. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. So, <clears throat> Metroid Four, uh, Metro Metroid Prime, Prime 4, Four coming out twenty twenty five. That's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm excited for that. So, uh, we uh, we got anything else? I think we're done. I think right? that's it. But I think we're it. But we just want to make sure we kind of talk some quick WWE news from Monday Night Raw from as of this video, which and happened also the other day. The other day, and, and also staying ahead for SmackDown for Friday. Yeah. But so, besides that. We're going to be at a toy show this weekend as on of this video. Sunday, right? Yeah, as of this podcast, we'll be at a toy show on Sunday, and uh, you'll see some of that in the video coming soon. Yeah. So, till next time, I'm Ben. I'm Yankee. Join the Fun House. Retro Fun House. The Fun House is back.